Hi, I'm Tara. And I'm Jared. And this is Five Minutes or Less, the Homeschool Project podcast. I've been homeschooling for about three months now. And we have three kids. Uh, our son is nine, and we have two daughters who are six and three. Originally, we're from uh, California, in the Bay Area, but we've been uh, living the van life for a while, splitting time between uh, our van and uh, Airbnbs on the road. We've been loving it. Mm -hmm. All right, so the first question is, if you were dropped off in the Alaskan forest for a year, what three books would you bring with you and why? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I think considering I'd be by myself in the wilderness, uh, I wanted to pick some books that um, in the past have helped me kind of connect not only to myself, but to uh, the natural world around me and um, just would help me be in nature. So the three books um, that I really love are The Fruitful Darkness by Joan Halifax, uh, The Time of the Black Jaguar by Arkin Lushwala, and uh, Walden by Henry David Thoreau. Nice. Yeah. All right, Tara, if you had all the necessities already, um, what three personal items would you bring with you? Uh, definitely my yoga mat, um, yeah. a solar powered charger so I could charge my third item, which is my phone, um, mainly for taking pictures and writing notes and listening to music, though. Nice. Yeah. All right. If you could only watch one movie for the rest of your life, what would it be? Ooh, um, don't know that I like the thought of only watching one movie the rest of my life, but if I had to choose, uh, I'm a big uh, Quentin Tarantino fan, yeah, and my favorite uh, Tarantino flick is Pulp Fiction, so um, I think I could probably watch that one over and over again and not get sick of it, so that's my choice. Nice. Cool. Tara, if you had no restrictions, what form of schooling would you follow? Road schooling, boat schooling, world schooling, or any other and why? Well, we're currently road schooling and I really love it, but I would definitely want a world school. I mean, the world is our oyster and what better opportunity to get to uh, travel the world with our young kids and our family. Um, so yeah, definitely world school. Yeah, we've definitely been missing being able to do international travel. travel. Yes. All right. <laughs> if you had a free plane ticket anywhere in the world, where would you go? Yeah, um, Tara and I were uh, Peace Corps volunteers in uh, in Africa. We lived in Mozambique for two years and it's always held a special place in our hearts. So I think if someone offered me a free ticket, that's where I'd have to go. Um, it's great, uh, centrally located in Sub-Saharan Africa. It's, it's amazing, so. Yeah, it would definitely Mozambique. Be Mozambique, oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tara, what is the best thing about homeschooling? Uh, definitely the freedom and flexibility. I mean, especially with your job going remote, yep. uh, we can literally be where we want to be and do what we want to do. So it's really nice. It really is. Yeah. Uh, what is the toughest thing about homeschooling? Mm. Since you're yeah. <laughs> not even I, the teacher. <laughs> I'm not the teacher. Uh, more of a, a super sub called upon when needed. But yes. um, <laughs> yeah, I think, you know, being a parent is hard enough. Um, and then when you have to be a teacher on top of a parent, it can add a lot of extra layers of stress to the relationship with your kids um, sometimes. So I think just balancing that is probably one of the, one of the toughest things. Mm -hmm. You agree? Yes, yeah. 100%. <laughs> um, Tara, tell us, what is one interesting thing about yourself? Um, falo Portuguese. Oh, falamos Portuguese. We do. We speak Portuguese. Uh, we learned it when we were living in Mozambique for two years. Yeah. Um, so what is one piece of wisdom that you can share with the others in this community, Jared? Hmm. Wisdom. Um, wisdom. You know, I think what we get, uh, <laughs> what we hear a lot from our friends in, in community is uh, like, oh my gosh, I wish we could do what you guys are doing. And uh, I always just want to say like, you can. And, um, you know, life's too short uh, to not do the things you love. And if something is inspiring to you and um, you're passionate about like, don't wait, do it now, you will never regret it. No regrets. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for listening. And you can find us on Instagram and Facebook at The Classroom Most Traveled. Bye. All right. Ciao.